Happy Thursday, everybody. Meteorologist Hunter Forrest here as we continue to monitor the tropics. We have two name systems out there right now. We have Leslie and we have Kirk, which is a major category three hurricane right now. And we also have this area in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, over the last couple of days, the chances of this area developing has continued to go down. So that is some good news. The last couple of days, it was about a 50% chance of development at its peak. Then it went down to 40. And now today, it's about a 30% chance of development within the next week or so. Now, if something does develop, it'll make its way into the Gulf of Mexico. But most of the models right now are hinting that this is more going to be a rainmaker for areas of Florida. And they could see a significant amount of rain as we head towards the next couple of days. So that's something they're certainly going to have to monitor as we head into the start of next week. And now we have Hurricane Kirk, which is expected to stay out to land. Category 3 hurricane right now. Winds about 125 miles per hour, gusting to 155. Moving towards the northwest at 10 miles per hour. As we head into Friday and Saturday, expected to become a Category 4 hurricane. Winds could get up to about 140 miles per hour. But once, it's make, once it makes its way into the north central Atlantic and continue to push off towards the northeast, it's going to encounter that cooler water, so it's going to weaken pretty rapidly just getting into a post-tropical storm as we head into the middle of next week. Here's Tropical Storm Leslie as of the 11 a.m. advisory. 45 mile per hour wind moving to the west and about five miles per hour. It's kind of taking a similar track to Kirk, so it's going to most likely stay out to sea. Could go a little bit more west, eventually becoming a Category 1 hurricane by Saturday morning, getting to about a Category 2 by Sunday. But again, good news is both of these storms, Kirk and Leslie, not going to affect any land. But again, we are still in the midst of hurricane season. It doesn't end until November 30th, so we still have about two months left for hurricane season. We're a little bit oh, we're about two weeks past the peak. But again, even in October, you could get some pretty significant storms and those waters are still fairly warm. So you're always going to want to check back here at 13 News Now over the next couple of weeks to continue to stay updated on the tropics.